Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. I just thought I'd do a session up here this morning, um, bringing you on my live fish really. A bit different from my pre-recorded ones. I'm just to show you through the day and um, how much left yeah. empty line with the olive apps. Had a quick 20 minutes on the buzzers, not a touch yet. So I'm going to try and find the fish now for the layers. We got about 10 seconds worn out. Just searching the depths now, really. Just using a long stroke and the pause in between. Gone back to my floating line now. No luck underneath. The fish are definitely in the top layers. You can see them rising. Um, and I've seen a few flies hatching, so uh, I've just gone back to the floating line with a small CDC olive on the point and a cormorant on the dropper. See if I can get anything to um, respond to this now. Hopefully.
bumps and then just turns right into then last second turned away. Hope it comes back. Only around six degrees, it's still really cold, so I don't think they're going to be totally on it on the drive. But whilst there's a hatch, there's a chance. Mm. So, I had no interest on the drive, guys. I've gone back under, still on the floating line. I've put a size 12 little olive nymph and a black cruncher on the dropper. I'm just going to slowly fish this back. Just trying to work out what they want to do in it. In the cast before this clip, I just lost my first fish of the day. But I uh, had the camera off to save the battery, so I turned it back on, on this new cast. There we are. Just planning a move as well. So that last couple of fish hit. Oh, it's really gone. I've seen the net. in the cold. Trout love cold water. Digging deep. It goes again. Sinking lines, me intermediate, dry flies, buzzers, apps, worms, and with Jesus, loads of energy in this one. Where is he on the cruncher? He might be on the cruncher. Oh no, we've got a double, that's why. Right. <sighs> 
One's hit the dropper. I've got two fish on here. One took the cruncher. But, and the other one's behind him. There's one. Let's try and get the olive in. Come on. Two. Do is tie them out on earth and I can unhook the pressure one. I just don't want this line to break. I need to let him early. Oh. Right, I'm gonna try and get the crunch out first. Just quickly. Oh, I can get the other one actually easier. In you come. Nope. This is the problem with droppers. This sort of dilemma. You just don't look them in. Now I'm going to take Cruncher out first. Right, Cruncher's out. He can go back. Back you go. And then... Olive's still on. <laughs> I'm going to get the olive in. Right, that was, should have just done that from the start. And the olives in. There we are, two fish in one cast. Lovely. Nice. There we go. There's the one on the olive. Just get that out. That's out. And... Let him go back. Just flipping it out. There we are. Well, not had anything for an hour. I've had two one cast. Well, that was a bit eventful. Two fish on a cast. Maybe I should have netted the fur, the, fur, the damsel one first, then sorted the cruncher one out. But it worked itself out in the end. But hopefully. We're on to winner now. It's typical that it takes the cruncher while it's erratically sitting around on the dropper because of another fish fighting than fishing it back figure of eight in naturally. It's quite bizarre trout sometimes. Um, the first cast of the olive app into your line and we're in. Such a deadly fly there. Oh, twitch. Wasn't short. He came back for it. As I was pulling my line off the water to recast, he grabbed it. I thought it nicked the bottom, but he soon took off. So I don't know how well it was hooked. But he's obviously followed it all the way in. And that's why it's important to fish the hang, as they say. Too hasty, you might miss a fish or two. Come out, so we'll get him straight back. 
and off he goes. This is the fly that the trout eat at. Great pattern. So after that fish, I made a move around to the opposite side of the lake. Um, tried a bit more of the intermediate lines. Played about with a few different patterns. But um, I didn't get another one then. So all in all, it was four fish in the day. Not too bad. Um, not as good as my last session, which was 10 fish. But I was glad to get some good footage to put in this video. Well that's going to be it for me guys, if you liked the video please subscribe to the page and like the video and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, tight lines.